Well, um, I have been sitting on a video that I needed to start a while ago. And I had a subscriber here on the channel um, send me an oil filter that he wanted me to just kind of look at, see if I seen any debris and stuff like that, kind of inspect it, and uh, give him an idea on what it looks like and what I think. Uh, so I said I would do that. But I really haven't been focused on getting any videos done for people, like specifically, you know, individual videos and stuff. I feel bad. So I brought a pair of gloves home. I got some paper towels laid out in front of me with like a um, Ziploc bag in between the paper towels so it doesn't soak into the sink. And uh, we're going to look at this oil filter and then we're going to look at the oil analysis afterwards. This is 15,000 miles on this oil filter and it is a Fram Synthetic Endurance. No, I think it's a Fram Ultra. And he went back with a Synthetic Endurance is what it is. So. It's either the, it's the Ultra or the Endurance. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. So, this is a 15,000 mile oil filter. And the oil that was used is Schaefer Supreme 9000. Zero W20, and this is out of a Toyota. I'm smelling the bag right now. It doesn't really smell like like fuel too much. The filter doesn't really stink too much. Um, I'm noticing that it has the metal insert inside the metal backing, which is really good. And. I'm looking for any type of debris that I may find down in the middle of these pleats right here so I can show you guys what I find. All I'm doing is just tearing these pleats open. I'm just taking the pleat let me see if I can turn some light on here. Taking the pleat and I'm pulling it down towards me. Trying to break it away from the side pieces. And there it is. There's one cap. That came off really easy. came off pretty easy. Now, let's open this up and give it a look. No cuts, no edits, just raw. It's very clean. I don't see any chunks of anything in the middle. And the oil he's running is Schaefer Supreme 9000, which is a um, PAO based formula very clean you can definitely tell at 15,000 miles it definitely has compromised the integrity of this filter because that just tore apart way too easy it shouldn't have been that easy to tear that apart but as they age and they get heat soaked over and over and over again this is the, what happens I would say let's look at the oil analysis here's the back side of the filter clean very clean doesn't smell like fuel or anything at all so Let's look at the oil analysis real quick. So 
So here is the lab analysis result. We are looking at the top row of numbers that say lab number one, four, five, six, seven, four, four. It's 14,873 miles on it. And you can see the numbers that are tested through Schaefer. And they're, re they're really good numbers, extremely good numbers. 15,000 miles are tested really well. And then right here on the bottom, it's like your fuel dilution, water, or whatever, you know, it's less than 0.1%, which is nothing. So it held up very well. If you look here on the right on the oxidation, the ASTM D7414, you see the oxidation number is 24.13. That's 24.13 at 15,000 miles, which shows some oxidation and basically that the oil is now wore out and needs to be. Here we are looking at the left column. It has 13,000 miles on it. If you see, it's got 306 molybdenum, 41 boron, 13 silicon, sodium is good, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus is good. Um, zinc is good and then once we get down here to the bottom we're not really focused on TBN too much but it can tell you how it's changed a little bit more the oxidation value is what you're after so if you look down here it shows that uh, it's under its flash point at 13,000 miles so it's testing under spec there and the TBN is down to 2.7 once you get past 2 you're not supposed to run the oil anymore or right at two, I should say. When you're looking at oxidative values, in order to figure out where you're going with an oil, you need to figure out what the oxidative value is virgin, and then you need to like run your own test trial. Like put 3,000 miles on it, test it. Put 5,000 miles on it, test it. Or maybe just go right to 5,000, right to 7,500, right to 10,000, whatever you got to do and then retest so you get an idea on how that oil holds up with your vehicle to get that oxidative value and to see how high it climbs. So let's just say you got an oxidative value of like six and at 4,000 miles, it's reading, it went from six to now it's reading like only nine, which that's not that much of an increase. And then let's just say at 6,000 miles, it's reading 10 or 11 it's not that much of an increase but at 10,000 miles it creeps all the way up to like 22 23 24 at that point it's going to start climbing like crazy and the oil is wore out it's not going to be able to sustain doing its job very much so oxidative values are much more important than tbn but tbn can also tell a little bit of a number it's just not really that accurate to be used on gasoline oils. More diesel stuff, not so much gasoline. Great looking filter, shocked that it looks that good at 15,000 miles, especially with a vehicle that has 250,000 miles on it or something like I forget now, but it's a Toyota, right? Anyhow, good quality oil. Schaefer Supreme 9000. PAO, PAO base. One of my favorite oils. Very good. Hope this works for you guys out there. And I hope this, I don't know, maybe it shows you something different. Take care. Be blessed.